An uninvited guest has arrived on the highway. It's decided to stay and is kicking out the locals. In 2004, the Bureau of Land Management discovered that white sweet clover, an invasive species, had established itself along the Dalton Highway corridor. What we saw there was pretty dramatic. We saw continuous white sweet clover along lower stretches of the road. Invasive species are non-native plants that are introduced to an area, establish themselves, and begin pushing out the native plants. We get asked a lot, why care? Why care about non-native invasive plants? One of the reasons we care is because they can change our ecosystem so much. White sweet clover, or sweet clover, is a nitrogen-fixing plant. And any time you have a nitrogen-fixing plant in a community, coming into a plant community, it's going to change the soil chemistry, the available nutrients. And what we typically see with that is that it, nitrogen in particular favors other non-native plants. We don't know what white sweet clover means for other plants um, definitively yet, but we do know where we see it on sandbars along these rivers that the willows are not there. They've been perhaps outcompeted by the white sweet clover, and willow being such an important browse species for moose has people concerned. Plants are just one part of the overall ecosystem. If native plants are taken over by non-native plants, the consequences can be far-reaching. The Bureau of Land Management and Canudi National Wildlife Refuge, along with volunteers from the Friends of Alaska National Wildlife Refuges, are trying to prevent the spread of white sweet clover along the Dalton Highway and down the river corridors that cross the road. We start at 8 in the morning and drive back down the highway to wherever we're going to start. Usually it's at the Canudi River, which is the southernmost part. And Ruth is usually the project leader when she's available and will determine where we'll pull and, or what we'll do, whether we'll use some other type of um, control method like the, the weed eaters. And occasionally we, we do some of that in these huge patches. But we have um, trowels and knee pads and gloves and vest, a fluorescent vest to wear. And we get down on our hands and knees and we start pulling. Sometimes it seems totally overwhelming and, and very sad and frustrating. Um, this year, some places are really bad, but in others, it does seem better. We're so lucky in Alaska because we have so few non-native invasive plant infestations. They're still mostly concentrated along the roadways with some exceptions like white sweet clover on our river bars. But we are so far ahead of the game and although you'll see a lot of non-native invasive plants along the Dalton Highway, it's because it's a corridor for travel. The Dalton Highway provides important access to resources in the Arctic, but it changes the ecosystems it crosses. We all need to be diligent to keep impacts to a minimum. Visitors can help. Make sure that your boat, waders, and gear are clean. Wash the undercarriage of your vehicles regularly. Learn about invasive species in your area, and be careful what you plant. We don't have a lot of research on non-native invasive plants in Alaska, but we know enough to know that we don't want to wait until we have the answers from research and then find out that we have plants that are having a huge impact on our natural systems and it's too late to do anything.